Real quick, when was the last time you've been postseason? I was going to ask you first. Uh, in the big leagues, never the first time. So this is your first time. Yeah. I mean, you've been. You done. Yeah, I mean it's first time in the big leagues. I mean there's, you know, three or four or five times I've done it in minor leagues, but it's different stage, different thing. I mean you got one goal no matter where you're at. Uh, one goal is to get the big leagues, and the next goal after that is to get the playoffs and win a World Series. So, um, you know, it's as exciting for me as it is a lot of guys. We only have a handful of guys that have been to the postseason, you know, in the big leagues. And for everybody else, it's, uh, you know, it's a, it's a time to shine, time to go out there and show what you work for all year. Was there ever a point where you thought maybe I might not, you know, in your career ever get to the postseason? Oh, Did yeah. you ever have those thoughts? Sure. I mean, I mean you look at guys like Sweeney and, and, and guys and – even Holiday, guys that played for that long and that good that haven't got to it. It's about having the right mix of guys and, and all point on one side of the, you know, the rope, and, and uh, we got there. Yeah. Now obviously, you know, we don't treat this like a regular season game. How much more planning is involved in scouting hitters come postseason? I mean, is it a lot more? Is it about the same? You just go out there and pitch your game? I'd imagine it wouldn't be until you get to the World Series where you're facing an American League team that maybe or maybe you haven't seen. Um, you know, we played the Phillies uh, twice, you know, here and there, here and at home, and um, we know what they're about. I mean, it's, it's not so much a game plan. I mean, we know what they're going to do, and we've got a game plan what we've got to do to, to stop them. And as far as the pitchers, too, I mean, they, they're not going to change stuff for the postseason. That's the, you know, that's what got in there. They're not going to start throwing a, a different pitch, or hitters aren't going to start, you know, hitting that pitch in the dirt out of the park in the postseason, right? So, I mean, it's pretty much the same. It's just, you know, make sure everybody's on the same page. How gratifying was that home run you hit the other night? Was it just another home run, or was no, it? You no, know? no, it was. It was really, you know, after you know, I have one start in September, and you know, a couple pinch hits here and there. But you know, it was, it was good to go in there, and uh, you know, after uh, Alonzo hit the double to go ahead one, and then you know, I, I put us up a couple more, gives a little breathing room because you want to win games at that point. And for me, it was pretty awesome. It was, you know, it showed some of the hard work I had down the minor leagues and, and here with Dusty and. And Jake, and you know, things put, got put together on that one swing. Yeah, you're becoming quite the hit on Twitter. Like a lot of people are saying right. that. Like, uh, how did that come about? And, and I mean, how, how are you addicted to it now? Or no, is it just I don't a know thing? if I'm addicted to it, but you know, I I I, uh, I feel like I owe something to the fans. I mean, they're out there and, and the support that they give me, even though I'm not a you know a star player there in, in Cincinnati, that they've showed me, you know, on the field and on Twitter and all that. Um, Happened with uh, Matt Maloney, our pitcher in minor leagues. He was on it, and I was like, "What? What are you doing on there?" You know, and he think he had about 400 followers, and he said, "Well, if I get to a thousand, then you have to get on." So I said, "Yeah," because I didn't, you know, he would had it for two months and had 400 followers. So, you know, but when he got to a thousand, I, you know, I'm not going to Welsh on a bet. I, you know, picked up my hand and went on. What it, what number you expect by the end of the postseason? What are we going for? For me, yeah. I, you know, one is great for me. I, you know, I don't know what I have now, but it's over a thousand. And uh, you know, whatever. It, it, it's not like I, I need it, but it, it's pretty cool to see that. You know, every day it's going up, and, and that's why I feel like I have to write stuff because that's you know when they can't come to the games or you know they can't you know fly out here to Philly or they don't get the full atmosphere aspect that I try to provide some of that. Yeah.